All right, one hammer point down. Now we just need to book it. Nearest campfires are right here. I'm pretty sure we had some hammers around here. Right? There's one. The Tomb of Reka. Right! This tomb only has one war point. There's no reason to do advanced scouting. To wonder, like, which place should I warp to? I better not mess it up. It's not that big of a deal anyway, because these maps are small. So you can quickly get to wherever you want to get to. And small is not a criticism, by the way. It's just that they going running across them does not take much time. They're dense, so you spend hours and hours exploring them. But they're not big. And that's generally what I prefer in a game. I like dense more than large. I want interesting, compelling stuff. And not square footage. <laughs> What the figgity? What in the Sam Hell? It is the hammer. Yeah, no. Well, the other times I've been able to rebuild something, the map is covered. Ooh, hey. Money. That adds to the fact that I came here. I think that was blocked by the uh, claw before. 95% map. I think that this hammer is going to get more powerful. I don't know if I've seen... I don't think I have. I don't think I've seen a feather icon before until the new map. So I think the feather is a thing we'll use at some point again, presumably, and they, I assume they don't just use it once. Uh, you but. Won't find better prices in all of I'm sh that's nice. Seriously, have, you have you ever even seen a store before? You said that one before. I'm thinking that we upgrade the hammer, maybe over the course of this zone, and it becomes capable of, like, generating a bridge instead of just fixing one. Because that area doesn't- that area has the hammer icon, but it does not have any kind of floating debris to rebuild the bridge with. It's just an area where it would sure be convenient to have a bridge now, wouldn't it? That is a golem that's gonna get up later, isn't it? A long sfard. Aren't you like a long sfard? Does not seem like an upgrade, and nobody else is using that kind of weapon. You're using, yeah, your melee weapon intentionally has a stat bonus on it. They're probably not going to use that. Unless they throw another new dude at me. That's a neat trick. I couldn't help but notice, Keller. The spirit called you darling. Finish your story. This was no random individual chosen to sacrifice, was it? The enchantment required the chosen individual to be one of our wives. We agreed it would be the first to visit the site. And your wife was Anna. Interesting. She never visited me on the job. Never. I let my pride take over and the assumption it would be someone else. How do you live with yourself, Kayla? I don't live with myself. Only with pain, misery, regret. What's done is done. I regret what has happened. I may regret what we must do even more. Magic chains will hold her in place to quell the curse, not lift it. But not without chaining down your heart. I get it. Forward, then. Hmm. 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 I, uh... 
Real piece of shit they all were. Hey, let's just build this place. No big deal. We just gotta sacrifice one of our wives as a as a blood sacrifice. No biggie. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it says chain here. Oh there oh, there it is. Gotcha. Yeah, no one to blame but yourself in that one. Tragedy, but a self-inflicted not even really it's a little self-inflicted, but mostly it was inflicted upon them. You gambled somebody's life without their uh, consent at all, or knowledge. And then on top of that, uh, you went through with it, which is extra fucked up. And the fact that it's say we're halfway to what we need. Look for more chain. It's pretty fucked up. Anyone agreed to that, but it's also fucked up that when it time when it, the time came, everyone didn't like immediately bow out. I think of like stuff like how in World War One, I, I think it was people like they were like elect they were like getting kids to fight in wars and stuff, and it was horrible. Uh, but along the way, like when when rubber hit the road, like these people just one shot them. That's why I was resting as everybody else. When rubber hit the road with everybody, uh, a lot of the soldiers would intentionally shoot above the heads of the enemy. Like they would, sh they would, they would uh, show up and shoot to give up the like appearance of fighting, but they weren't actually trying shooting to kill or even hit. They were just kind of shooting blindly into the crowd, or not even into the crowd. They're shooting away from the enemy, so that they wouldn't be. Uh, caught for treason, but they also wouldn't kill anyone because they're afraid to kill anyone. But there is also stuff like the, uh... Well, there's some examples of that in history where it's nice little hints of people being unwilling to kill people, even people they don't know. There's also a lot of shitty examples, like the idea of, like, when it's time to execute somebody, you line up a bunch of people and you all shoot at the same time. Or... Uh, like electric chairs and stuff like that, where you you pull the uh, the idea where everyone pulls the lever and only one of them's the real lever or something, and so you don't know who actually killed the person and it, it, it spreads the blame. That stuff always feels really iffy. Like, oh, we can't bring ourselves to kill this person because. To something horrible and unnatural about murdering someone, uh, better find a way to just, instead of going around the idea of whether or not we should do the thing, let's just obfuscate the blame so that we don't feel bad anymore, and then do it anyway, without questioning the part where we don't want to do it, and what that means about humanity, and so on. Neat. So this thing has a great weight that holds it down. It makes this platform be in one place or another, and we can change its weight with the gravity feather. The gravity feather. Not exactly what that's called. I can't go through that door, though, so... Blip. But I can go through this door. After grabbing objects, you can pull or push them to empty spaces. I wonder what I'm trying to weigh. Oh. This is a different weight. We'll get back to you in just a moment. Yep, there's a lever here. And now I'm back where I just was. Okay. So that's where this gives me access to.
I see. Oh, hey. This must be where you would get the one that's like... 150? Or 100? Yeah, come and get me. Let's do this. I'm ready. You have high resists. How high, though? Here comes the summon for additional attacks. And you've got Taunt on. But he hit everybody anyway, so... Good, good news, us. Wow, you are... a wreck right now, actually. I'm about to lose my spellcaster. Uh... Heal people for a bit. Do some fire damage. Initiative bonus. A stun would be good. Not as damaging as one would hope. There's a small heal. It won't save her if she gets hit directly, though. Which is the most likely thing to happen. Ooh. Fun. Going in for the melee is an option, otherwise I could rest to try to give people energy again. Oh, let's go. Okay, well I regret that, obviously. Yep. Tried to beat away at his defenses. Ineffective. Ah! That'll take care of it. 570 gold, too. Can I pull you sideways? I can. Unlimited power. Okay. This is somewhere. Oh, it's the golem I called out earlier was going to attack me. I just got it behind there. Did not even notice I that was... Know things ended terribly, Keller. But there must have been some good times between you and Anna. The best. Shortly after a curse consumed the sunken castle at the lake, my fellow masons and I were en route to a new job. Anna appeared before us, disheveled and starving, but so very beautiful. She said she had just been used as a pawn in the Battle of Brothers, that King Breck had chained her to a carriage he forced her to pull, as though she were a horse. It can't be. Your Anna is the very same one who shed the tear to start the curse. The one for whom the Lake of Anna is named. It is called that now, isn't it? Yes. She was one and the same. Such tragedy in her life. And her death. But that time we had together. Just a few years. Yet they were the greatest moments of my life. No great structure I will ever build can match the loving bond we forged. I can think of no better way to die than by her hand. Ghostly as it may be now. But it does not have to be that way. No, it does not. The sad irony of her vengeful spirit being set free is that it allows us a chance, however slight, of eventually bringing her back to life. If she needs a mobile skeleton's body to inhabit, we know a place. Yes, Yoshka. She knows that place quite well herself. Let's do a rest because everybody is in pain. I'm in pain, you're in pain, we're all in pain. Please give me that healing skill. <laughs> give me that one level. Oh, she's, she's she's gonna be a bit. She's gonna be a bit. I've made a mistake. I guess there was no reason to take the other one off.
Oh. Am I only allowed to have one fixed bridge at a time? It occurs to me that I actually have no reason to put these, uh, to have the, to take these off, really. There. Because you, you, can, you can levitate them all at the same time, apparently, which is insane. They also all preemptively have a feather icon on them, which is weird. Weird how they all preemptively know that I'm going to use a feather on them. Oh yeah. When I took the first one off originally, I think I, I expected that you would probably have to... Okay, so Yosuke just leveled up, that's good. I think I thought that you would, uh... Only be able to levitate one at a time, which makes sense, but that's not how it works. Uh uh. Havadi! You got a new skill. We're going down the elemental tree right now, right? This firestorm seems neat. Yeah, I think I found these underwhelming. So, intelligence or energy cost? Reduction. It's only 3%, but it adds up. Might be good to get more of. I'll get. Oh yeah, I'll have three chances, so it'll eventually become 10% reduction. That is good. Any frost damage you deal decreases the initiative of the targets by 50%. Any frost damage? Shit. I do frost damage per turn with some of these characters. Ah. Uh. Fifteen percent more energy damage when they have less health to, to fight off said damage in the first place is probably a little redundant. There we go, and we can't level up Yoska because you can't access the characters that are currently at camp. Howdy, everybody! Ooh, a new tier is available: the Underworld Combo. Open a portal to the Underworld to frighten all your enemies and deal them. Bit of tiny, tiny, tiny bit of frost damage, but every turn until they die, apparently. 100% chance of success. The frightened enemy's damage is lowered by 50%. Damn. Upper world combo is the healing one. Then there's the big old fire attack. And then that other stuff. Alright. We have fun here. <laughs> Onion helmet. 3-2. I feel like I've seen that before. I don't think I'm even going to look at it, whether or not anyone wants it. It's freaking... It doesn't have stats. I like stats. Hey, Mezzy. You leveled up. Isn't that great? I like it when you level up. Um... Right, we just got this, so I, I can move on. Yeah, I don't necessarily need either of these. So you have armor and you have turtle. I like our I obviously like taunt more than turtle. I called it armor on accident because the title this thing's called turtle. Okay, thorns. Taunt your enemy with a 75% chance. Increase your block chance by 35% and redirect 25% of all damage taken to your attackers for three turns. So that's good for bosses in particular. We're directly targeting, you're directly taunting the boss and saying, hey, attack me specifically while increasing your own defenses and reducing, reflecting some damage. Endurance, increase your hit points by 15% and adds 50% to physical resistance for three turns. So it also makes you very hard to kill. It makes you hard, worse at hitting, but usually I'm spending every turn spending, I'm pretty much doing buffs and heals with him every turn and not so much attacking. Blank. Deal a bunch of physical damage. Brute force. Do physical damage and... Weapon damage to all enemies and removes taunt status from them. 
Oh, right. That doesn't make it so they're not... I'm not taunting them. It makes it so they're not taunting me. As I think that's what that does. Hmm. I'm not crazy about this tree, though. So I think I'm gonna go down this one. So, a bit of vigor or a bit of defense? I would say defense. Less health to heal. More preserved instead. Got a new one. Indomitable. When you take critical damage, get a 30% block chance for two turns. Not the worst idea. Which skills does that he has are sun skills. So not today. On your armor. Font. Okay, he yeah, he has he has sun skills. I probably want the reduced cost on that. Whereas his wind skills are Stay Sharp, which I never use. Okay, pretty easy to tell which thing to re replace then. There we go. Hmm. According to the game, it thinks that's a higher quality defensive item. I am somewhat curious about. Although, yeah, this is clearly an upgrade for her. Other sandals. Have you checked that out, dude? Downgrade for you, huh? I'm all curious about this game's definition of what makes good equipment. I'm caught off guard sometimes by what the game thinks is an upgrade, but I'm somewhat inclined to, inclined to trust them in many cases. We'll see. I'm doing fine. My spell casting is massively overpowered because this game may or may not have some uh, massive balancing problems. Hooray! Turns out when I made my character, I chose correctly. Which is lucky, because I was doing a let's try and didn't know I was going to make a second episode. So, uh, lucky. I could have always just made a new character, though. Once I decided to do a full series. Ooh. They sneak up on you. You're not usually looking for secret walls. There's just like a subtle difference that stands out. It's the wa the whamus. You guys want to wear my whamus? I like my whamus just the way it is, thank you. Are you sure you don't want a whamus? I'm vaguely alarmed by this. I've got slightly better stats, but I just... I am often... I'm just so constantly inclined to stick people with their... Stuff that gives them a stat bonus in the particular field that they're focusing on, which is not always the best idea. Sometimes just the raw stats of a more chains if we hope to hold the spirit in place. To the blacksmith's forge, we have an enchanted chain to make. That was those were easy to find to the point of being like negligible. I feel like the first room you mentioned chains, I found two of them in there, and the other one was by the forge. Ah, am I making the chains here for that? Kella started to work. The flames escaping the forge seemed not of this world. Who knows? Maybe they were not. The mason's eyes glazed over. A trance consumed her. Each precise strike amazed her companions. Was she channeling the gods? We have what we need. That's a lot of hype. That's maybe too much hype for the idea that somebody made a chain to fix a door. I guess that's next level hype, I feel. 
Magic Shackle. What do you got back here? Oh, are you gonna call that a secret though? Leather Lorica Segmentata. That's a neat name. I don't know what that means, but neat. Leather Lorica Segmentata. 5-2. Better than yours? Nope. Lose some initiative, gain some armor and resist. Might take that. Ooh. That's a bunch of strength. That's double what you had then. Now we get to put on the scary axe. Cool. What's the giant green number that's popping up? Nope. Oh, the spear. Because of initiative. There we go. <clears throat> There's one over here. Looks like stun chance. Ooh, 20 points for a 5% stun chance? I don't know how the scoring system works. Now her damage has spiked. That should... <clears throat> that should go well for us. Oh, Sebastian leveled. Okay. Headshot. Oh, it's, oh that looks scary. Plus weapon damage. And her, her weapon damage is... Not small. Okay, it's kind of small. Honestly, the skills are way more powerful than the weapons themselves. This does up to 45 damage, and his weapon does up to 9. Huh. Oops. That was the wrong tab. There we go. Sanguine. You deal 30% additional critical damage against enemies under 30 life. Hmm. What do you have, though? 10% crit chance when you have highest initiative. I'd like to keep that active. Sun skills are less expensive, and then the speed thing. Yeah. All right. So what? It, what? I'm, yeah. Fire would be sun. Wind, wind, sun, moon, wind, light, dark. There's an emphasis on some wind here. But there are the three skills I use the least. Are all wind. My most used skills are dark, sun, and light. Or, or overworld, or whatever you call it. I, I like to use raining world in the elemental attacks a lot. Admittedly, admi admittedly. Headshot will probably use more. I actually overuse raining arrows just because uh, Havadi's attack can often one-shot groups that are large enough to warrant that kind of attack. So I'm often wasting energy. Oh, headshot doesn't fit. Well, I don't really like somersault, so ploop. There we go. Easy enough call. What? Go back up there. This is just a regular attack. Huh. Doesn't cost much, though. Like, headshot's 50. This is 14. Bigger. There we go. Oh yeah, you've got a defensive ring. So now, yeah, 44 strength, 43 strength. Oh, he's still keeping pace. They're both above 40 now. We have 44 and 68 agility, 42 intelligence. We're getting up there with some of these. Get what? Oh, it's the glow. It's the weight. <laughs> I thought I saw a glimpse of a, of a future important thing for a second there. <laughs> 